Hi there, welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France. This is Freddy Frogs, certified Ableton trainer. Today I'm going to show you a very, very satisfying technique indeed. Very simple to put together, yet very efficient. We're going to transpose, we're going to play audio samples, audio files using the keys on our keybed here on our controller or even the pads on your push or the pads on your controller so basically we're going to be able to, to transpose to chromatically trigger these clips All right let me show you how it works i've got here a guitar sample and i've made a bass line to go with it but that bass line was made as midi at first but then i transposed it i converted it into audio using the freeze flatten functions i've got a beat as well Okay, so I can now enter MIDI mapping mode, so Command M on a Mac, Control M on a PC, select the sample itself, the guitar sample, and now look, I'm going to press and hold the middle C, the C right in the middle of my key bed here, and I'm, I'm holding it down, I'm not letting that go, and whilst I'm holding it, I'm going to go and reach for both C's on either side, so now you can see on the clip, we have a range of trigger, it's not just C3, it's now from C2 to C4, so listen... Uh, you can hear now the sample, the guitar sample transposing. I can make it a lot more playable actually if I go over to the launch options in the clip itself and I change its quantization to a 16th for example. Yeah, so let's listen to that. Yeah. Wow, so responsive. It's really fun. Now, not all keys work given the uh, the actual arpeggio in the guitar, but you can work that out. Now, we can go a lot further even. Look, I'm going to actually select the clip I made of the bass, the bass audio clip, and I'm going to assign that clip to the exact same keys I've assigned the guitar sample. And I'm also going to change its global its quantization to a 16. So now both of these clips are going to move together. Wow, yeah, it sounds all right to me. Um, now, you can also go even further with that function and that technique. Let's multi-select those two clips uh, using shift on the keyboard, yeah? And then I'm going to change that trigger mode to repeat and... As I'm holding the key, the clips are re-triggering at the 16th rate. But if I just hit it once, we have the same result we had before. Yeah, it's just if I'm holding the key down and it repeats at a certain rate, at the actual quantization rate. Um, and one step further, even um, I could go and hit the legato mode underneath the launch mode. This means that now when I re-trigger these clips, they won't re-trigger from their starting point. They'll be re-triggering halfway or whenever I actually re-trigger them, but they won't re-trigger themselves from the start. So it's like having a continuous timeline now within the clips. This means I can now kind of bend the pitch of the clips as they're playing without re-triggering them uh, from the start. So it sounds like this. Yeah, it sounds different, eh? Yeah, so I can have like multiple pitch within the length of the clips. Yeah, so I don't think the results are comparable to any other technique, really. Uh, if you put that clip into a sampler, it's just not the same, is it? It just doesn't, you know, we have the, the launch options in the clips that help us, you know, uh, trigger that clip in a musical manner, I'd say, okay? So, yeah, quite easy to put together. See you soon in another tutorial for Fast Lane. Bye.